now that we have two videos on how to get a nice ass underway, today we're gonna to talk about how to get a nice set of quads. Uh, this particular video is where we talk about the squats, and we're gonna go over two variations of the squat. The first one is called the sissy squat. Uh, apparently, it is named after Sisyphus, uh, former king of what we now call Corinth, who was doomed by the gods to roll a boulder up a hill only to have it fall back down, and he was destined to repeat this for eternity. Now, apparently, pulling, pushing the boulder up the hill caused him to get some really sick-ass quad development. So, Sisyphus, sissy squats, that's where we get the name. So, take a look at the video. You'll notice that I'm using also a machine here. So the technical term for this would be a hack sissy squat because I'm using the hack squat machine. And you know, a lot of the rules still apply. Got a straight back. Um, my knees are going over my toes, but that's okay because my knees can handle it. If yours can't, don't do it. Obviously you want to play smart. Don't play stupid, play smart. But anyways, yes, your knees are going over your toes. You're not using a lot of weight, but in order to get that sick pump in your quads, they have to go over your toes. You're putting a lot of stress on the knee joint. You'll be fine for the most part, unless you have knee injuries or knee conditions, um, or if you're severely overweight, you probably don't wanna do this. But for the most part, I think you can get away with it. And if you can't yet, it'd be something to work towards. And other things to keep in mind, try to go as low as safely as you can, and then come back up as safely as you can while you're putting your heels back on the ground. So like, as you go down, they're coming up, and as you go back up, they're coming back down. Uh, you'll definitely feel it right where that teardrop muscle is, which is called your vastus medialis. So anyways, the next exercise, the old school squat, uh, with a slightly narrow stance compared to normal. Take a look. couple things to note, um, depending on your proportions, how big your legs are, sorry, how long your legs are, uh, how the length of your torso and a few other things, that is going to depend, that is going to dictate what your squat looks like. So the, the general rules though, you want to keep your chest up high and you want to, it's like your knees are being pried apart and you're sinking into yourself. Uh, hopefully that helps you out. So you got two exercises here, both for emphases on the quads, and uh, throw these into your routine uh, and make your legs look awesome. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me form check videos to make sure you're not fucking any of this up. Uh, subscribe, like, share the video, uh, go to all my websites. Have a great day.